At Design That Matters, we're dedicated to solving problems for and with the poor in developing countries. Our latest project is called Otter. It's a simple warming bassinet that will prevent hypothermia in newborns while they receive other treatments. Treatments like phototherapy, which cures newborn jaundice. Otter is designed to be compatible with all traditional overhead devices, but to work especially well with Firefly, our phototherapy device that can treat some of the most severe cases of jaundice. While we work towards bringing Otter to market, we believe it's vitally important to be constantly evaluating our ideas in the context that they're made for. In this video, we talk about the keys to effective research that go beyond technique and methodology to things like trust and rapport, things that you have to earn over time. Successful research starts with talking to the right people. When you're designing for different cultures, or really for anyone other than yourself, it often takes a partnership with someone who can point you in the right direction. For many years, we've been working with a company called MTTS in Vietnam. They make and distribute medical devices and have relationships with local hospitals. They've helped us identify and contact the right locations for researching otter. This is the seventh trip the company has made to Vietnam, and for some hospitals, the fourth time meeting with the staff. They were there years ago, sharing their opinions about Firefly when it was just a concept. They saw how we use their suggestions to make Firefly better, and now they're the ones that use it every day. We come back to them every time because they know we care about their perspective, and they never hold back to tell us when something is wrong. The most reliable feedback comes out of these relationships that are built on trust. There are many criteria that Otter must meet in order to be successful, including cost-appropriate manufacture, distribution to the right hospitals, and technical robustness. But this research trip was specifically about user adoption. Even if we do everything else right and have achieved success by the standard measures for product design, if the hospital doesn't use Otter, then we failed. Each interview started with a tour of the hospital NICU. We asked how they prevent hypothermia in newborns under different conditions, and what equipment they use. As designers, we want to solve the problems that exist, but acknowledge and preserve what already works. International research becomes more complex when you're having a conversation through a translator. Over the years, we've developed research methods to ensure that we're really hearing what these experts are saying. Before each trip, we make a set of flashcards with pre-translated phrases. Each set is designed to ask and get clear answers to the most important questions. Another way we get around language barriers is by bringing an alpha prototype. And that simply means the prototype looks and works like a real device, but it's made by hand using machines like a bandsaw and a 3D printer. There's no better way to test how intuitive your design is than by watching someone use it for the first time. We've learned over the years that great design comes out of reliable feedback, and the most reliable feedback comes out of a long-term relationship built on trust. We're excited to use this feedback to redesign the details to make Otter the best warmer for a low-resource context. We're only a few steps away from bringing Otter to market and further equipping hospitals so that they won't have to choose between risking hypothermia and treating severe jaundice. Thanks so much to MTTS for hosting us in Vietnam, and thanks to our sponsors who make trips like these possible. The Autodesk Foundation, Chow Foundation, Transparent Fish Fund, Jeannie Sang and Colin Rust, Suzanne and Michael Graves, and many other donors. This project is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts, on the web at arts.gov.